Hey guys. Welcome back to the vlog, I guess. Today, I've been thinking a lot about presence. So, we live in a world where we are constantly consuming. Mostly from our screens, we have Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. It's all about taking in, reading, boom, boom, boom. But something that has been coming to me a lot lately is that you are happier when you create more than you consume. I literally write in my journal, and on the days that I create more than I consume, whether I'm creating podcasts, whether I'm creating videos, vlogs, content, whether I'm working out, I'm creating energy, I just feel so much happier on the days where I create more than I consume. But that leads us to the next issue with presence. And I think a huge issue in general is our culture's obsession with busyness. We are so busy. How do you be so productive every hour? How are you well, never not productive? And my issue with busyness is that it takes away from God's work in your life. Busyness takes away from creative thoughts. Busyness takes away from time. And time is the best expression of love. So, three points. The best way to live is love. The best expression of love is time. And the best time to love is now. And if you're always busy, you cannot love. If you're always busy, it's much harder for God to work in your life. If you're always busy, then you're probably living solely in the future. And if you're and if you're present, then you're living in the present, and you feel presence. This is the only reality. You cannot control your future. You can make smart decisions that will help your future. You can make good habits that will help your future. But no one knows what tomorrow holds. In fact, tomorrow isn't even promised that you'll be alive. So why not enjoy the present? And I hope this vlog inspires you to enjoy the present. It's gonna be a vlog that consists of no screens, no phone, no computer, no work. Other than that, the vlog I'm making right now and I guess the little screen on my camera. I hope you enjoy. Can't put the phones on top of the Bible. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 24 hour, let's go. 24 hour. You. Like he's gonna fall? Nah. Alright. Liam. Yeah. What does being present mean to you? Hmm. I think being present mean to, means to me like an absence of being distracted. That's an interesting way to put it. But like really intentionally focusing on like like if you're in a conversation, like being present in that conversation is like int intentionally focusing on like listening, like active listening and like being participatory and like... The absence of being distracted. Yeah. I, I like, like that. And like being present like with God is like 
taking time, like, for just like an intimate moment with God and just like focus on God, like be just with Him and focus on Him. So, yeah. I think presence is probably rooted in the word present Bobby. or the other way around. So I think Wait. as well as being the absence of distractions, it's the absence of thinking about the past or the future. Mm. Living in the moment. Yeah. It's good. Very good. <laughs> Liam! <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Whoa. Can you yell soul wealth? Soul wealth. Yeah, look at that monarch tattoo, wealth. Soul wealth. That's what? Soul wealth. Wait, I'll do it. Praise God. Praise God. Alright, you wanna do one us? Do it. <laughs> Soul wealth. Soul wealth. Wait, should we do a Soul wealth? Is it a video? <laughs> so well. So well. So well. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wait, let me get my so well. Yeah. Let's go. What are we doing? We're climbing, dude. Check it out. It's pretty fun. Pretty, pretty steezy for the first half, and you get to the second half, and it's like, what? How was it, Austin? It was beautiful, really. Hard? Yeah, it was definitely difficult, especially at that one spot. I mean, you can flip the camera around, but I, I once did. the crack starts, there's... I've never climbed. I've probably went to a rock climbing gym less than five times in my life, but I've never been outdoor climbing, so. I promise you, you'll enjoy it. We'll you see it. I think I'll enjoy it, but we'll see if I can get to the top. All right. Good. Bro, you got it. That's on camera, too. That's cool. I couldn't do that. I mean, I might, maybe I could have, but. Final thoughts. Eat food, breathe air, enjoy the campfire. Stay off your phone. <laughs> Stay off your phone. That arch. That arch right there is the arch on all the Utah license plates. It's called Delicate Arch. Austin, educate the audience. What is Delicate Arch? It's the, it's honestly the iconic arch of the state of Utah. It might be I mean, the Arches most... National Park, law of Utah. Is it the most famous arch in the world? Well, I, I don't know in the whole world, but definitely the United States. Presumably. Presumably the whole world. That arch right there. It doesn't look that big from where we're at. Alright, let's mom. But supposedly, according to Austin, it is 10 of her tall. I feel like it might be bigger. I mean, you can see people. It's definitely bigger than 10. At least. <laughs> Not really. Right. I'm in love. I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. I've been captivated by a love that saved me. I'm in love. I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. I've been captivated by a love that saved me. You saved me. You saved me. You saved me. I will never leave your love. I'm in love. I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. I've been captivated by love to save me. I'm in love. I cannot remember what I was doing before I met you. I've been captivated by love to save me. You saved me. You saved me. I will never leave your love.
one more time. I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so, so we are at Mesa Arch. It basically looks like the Grand Canyon behind me. And me and Austin, who's behind the camera, we have this thing where throughout life, we try to one-up each other peeing in the most beautiful places. So he's already peed here, but not off the cliff. So I'm gonna pee off the cliff. We're gonna do that now. Well, I feel like I'm about to go on a roller coaster. Ooh. Bro, I swear I'm feeling sprayed by water. Me too. Bro, I'm just gonna get it pulling out with this. I gotta stop. Bro, I am too. Hey, respect for not putting the camera down. That's a that's a brotherly move. But uh I don't know where that ranks. That might be the new number one most beautiful piss I've taken. Beautiful. <laughs>